Hi guys, I'm Teacher Im and I create videos to help my students score better in their STBM Maths D paper. And today's topic is going to be determining if an event is mutually exclusive or independent. Videos coming up right after the intro. In my previous video, I already talked about mutually exclusive event a lot. So, as we know, the mutually exclusive events are two events that cannot occur together. Okay, they cannot happen at the same time. And most of the time, we call them disjoint. And because they are disjoint, therefore, when we want to see that two events together for example probability of a and b happening together the intersection is actually zero for independent events they are actually events that does not affect the occurrence to of another event so they are two events that are not related so one have if one occurred the other one it will not affect the other event happening okay so they can happen at the same time they can occur at the same time therefore we say when event a and b okay they can be intersected so we will take the probability of event a multiply the probability of event b okay and then if if they are in the conditional uh, event where event A will happen given that event B already happened, because event B are not related to event A, so the occurrence of event B will not affect the event A at all. So, for conditional event, in this case, the probability of A intersect with B, which we know is actually probability of A times probability of B, this can be cancelled out because the probability of B actually will not affect the probability of event A happening at all. So, we will get probability of event A. So, this I already talked before in my previous video. We are going to use both of them to do this next question because most of the time if they are inside the STBM question, if they ask you to determine whether an event are mutually exclusive or independent, we will use that two concept that we just saw just now to solve it. Okay, so let's do this 2016 question 2 quest. Uh, so what I have here is the probability of A is given that 0 0.2, probability of B is given that it is 0 0.4, and it is also given the probability A O B, okay, A union B is 0 0.52. The question asks, find the probability of A complement intersect with B complement. So what are complements? So complements are things which happen outside of A and outside of B. So actually the com the intersection of com A complement intersect by B complement are this part here in this purple place. Okay, the one that I already ca colored purple. So to be able to calculate the probability of A intersect with com uh, complement A intersect with complement B, we will need to do this one. Okay, we need to use this formula, which means we will take the whole, uh, ellip, the whole uh, set and then we minus with the intersection or the union, sorry, the union of probability of A, union probability of B, the two unions of them. Okay, so they in STPM, they gave you two marks for it. So what we are going to do is they already give you give you probability of a union with b so the one with the yellow and the blue one is already given so we want to find the purple place so we take one minus the probability of this union so we will take that one minus the 
value given inside the question, which is 0 0.25, and we will get the answer. So for the two marks, we will get one more when we get the answer. Okay, next, they wanted to determine whether the event A complement of event A complement A and event B complement are mutually exclusive or not. So from the previous, we already talked about uh, that if it is mutually exclusive, you will notice that the two events, the intersection of two events, the two events should be zero. Now, if they want, but what we found out in question part A, the intersection of A intersect with B is not zero, it's 0 0.48. Therefore, we conclude that since the intersection of complement A intersect complement B is not zero, so we conclude that this event A complement and B complement are not mutually exclusive. So they gave you one mark for that. So that with the uh, mutually exclusive uh, details and the reason, you will get one mark both of them okay you have to write both of them you have to tell it is not in the intersection is not zero therefore the two event complement of a and complement of b are not mutually exclusive okay now to check for independence just now you saw two formulas out from there right you will uh, see the one with the complete the com uh, the conditional case and the one with the this intersection okay so basically i will use this one only independent uh, event the, uh, it are supposed to be the intersection of the event is actually the probability of a multiplied probability of b okay let's see if i can get the probability of complement a and complement b because they are the one that they want one is the determine whether complement A and complement B are independent. So I need to get the probability of complements of A and complements of B. Okay. So as you know, the complement formula is actually 1 minus probability of A. Okay. So this one, for this case, the one complement of B is 1 minus probability of B. So they will give you one mark when you write this out. Okay, so the formulas in probability is very, very important. You have to make sure you write it out because there is one mark for method for red. Okay, next we are going to fill in this. Okay, we are going to fill in with the details that they gave you inside the question. So the details are going to be 1 minus probability of A and 1 minus probability of B. Hmm done okay and then when we press the calculator we will get oh it is the same with the intersection all right so that will give you this answer will give you one mark however inside the question it is given three marks which means you need to write a conclusion for that okay you need to write the conclusion give using these details over here so what you are going to write is, so the event of complement A and complement B are independent because the probability of A complement A intersecting complement B is equal to the probability of complement A multiplied with the probability of complement B. So that last conclusion will give you the last one mark in this question. Okay, so SDBM is not really that hard, right? So easy busy only. So let's see. I have a bonus for you. So here in, I would like to talk about dependent events. In 2017, the question actually asked you to prove that uh, event Okay, uh, they actually the question asks for state the reason whether the events are dependent. So most of the students got confused. Well, dependent events are the opposite of independent events. 
the occurrence of one event actually affected the probability of the other events. So what actually happens is they, when they are intersected, they are not able to find the answer. So the probability of A intersect B is actually not equals to the probability of A multiply with probability of B. So I feel you should use the knowledge that I just taught you just now in this video and go and try out 2017 question uh, and check out if this works or not. Okay, so I will see you again in my next video which I will talk about proving that an event is an exotic Really, event. really hope to see you in my next video and do hit the subscribe and like button because it's kind of lonely here in YouTube because you have not been chatting with me. So do leave a comment in the comment box too. See you again in my next video. Bye-bye.